it's like you can't tell what the theme of this video is about. I clearly did not plan the outfit or the earrings. I don't know if you can see it, but basically heart earrings. So I wonder what this video will be about. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheen and I am currently based in Dubai. I am a consultant by day and a YouTuber on the other times, I don't know. Um, and today I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for a while now and something that a lot of people have asked me about. So yes, I have fallen in love with Dubai. Got you there today. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it clickbait I love it um, but on a serious note I do want to talk about how it has been since I've moved it's now been officially three months and I am absolutely in love with the place and I thought it's the best time to try and share with you some reasons why I love to buy so let's get into it the first thing is just the diversity of people and by that I mean whether it is at work or through my social circle or anyone you meet in Dubai, it's just so diverse. Everyone is from such different countries. To give you some examples, when I started my job, there were 12 of us who started at the same time. And I am from Mauritius, there are people from Lebanon, there are people from uh, America, from Spain, from Italy, from Colombia. It's just so diverse. You meet so many different people um, and a lot of people are meeting Mauritians for the first time. It's just really, really nice. Um, and I don't think you get this level of diversity anywhere else. And you even get to meet you know, a lot of Middle Eastern people from countries I've never heard of or never really met anyone from, for example, Kazakhstan. And I met people from Kuwait and we all work together. And it's really, really interesting. And you know, I am a firm believer of the whole cognitive diversity thing. So getting people who have such different backgrounds and having had very different exposures to life um, growing up, whether it is just um, the culture, whether it is just the education system that they are from, but they just bring such different perspectives to the table. And it's just really interesting. I'm always learning from them. For example, I didn't know how bad the situation in Lebanon is and, you know, how people don't have electricity, they don't have petrol, their money doesn't mean anything anymore. Like, all of this is things that... <sighs> I literally just muted this phone. Classic Elizabeth. What is she saying? Anyway, back to it. Yeah, so it's just incredible to be able to learn more about other people's culture, but also to make friends from around the world. And it's really, really nice. And now we're going to get to go to a ski holiday in Lebanon next year because a friend of ours has this massive chalet, apparently, and skiing is a thing in Lebanon. I didn't even know. So, you know, it's just broadening your horizons in terms of making friends. And I've been blown away by just the diversity of people that I've met. And my friends are from everywhere around the world, quite literally. And I think it's beautiful and I love it. And I think it's really adding a lot more to my own personal experiences and it's teaching me so much. And I just love meeting people. And secondly, which is kind of a little bit linked to it, but in Dubai, the diversity of food is just incredible okay i've had food that i've never had in my life for example i had yemeni food which i am a big fan of now where you sit on the floor and you all eat from the same massive plate and it's so delicious honestly i've had afghani food um i've had what else have i tried here that i didn't try before um quite a few things and they have every single cuisine you can think of literally and it can be a bad thing having too much choice because every day when it's time to eat, I spend so much time on delivery just going, out, oh, I don't know what to eat. There's just too many options. But obviously, first world problem. Uh, but it's so incredible. Food here is amazing. It's so delicious. Like there's, I just heard about this one recently called Raju Omelette. And it is apparently the guy is a millionaire now. And the only thing he does is Indian omelettes and they have so many restaurants around Dubai and it is always booming, always queues outside. And I was just like, oh, how have I not tried this before? And it's just, everything is just 
bigger and better. The portions are massive and food is delicious. And the one thing I love about food in Dubai as well is that you have everything for different price ranges as well. So you can have really, really cheap food, which could cost you, I don't know, like two pounds for a massive meal, or you can have a meal that's 150 pounds. So it really caters for every needs. And I think that even for me, right, I'm not gonna have expensive meals all the time. So you want the average one. And then sometimes you just want the really cheap food and sometimes you want the really expensive food for a special occasion. And I think it's great. <laughs> you get to do everything. And I think this is something that might not be that present in different countries because when I'm saying that there is cheap food, it tastes even better than the really expensive food. And it's so authentic, especially when you go to like Indian restaurants here or uh, Lebanese or Turkish, they are just really, really good. And it's just that you need to be able to find these places and they, have, they are like little holes in the walls, but it's so good. And oh, I just can't stop raving about food. And the thing is, whenever people come to visit, I'm just like, okay, we need to iron out what you want to eat because there are too many options. And um, another thing that I really liked in terms of food item, I guess this is more drinks, but it's the garak chai in Dubai. Oh my God, blew my mind because I don't really like the Indian chai. I think it's too spicy for me, but I had karak here, which is this tea that they boil for like 24 hours and there's so much sugar in it, obviously, but I went to this one place where you can choose between 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% of sugar. So, you know, the cater for your needs really. And it's so good. And at my favorite beach, Kite Beach, you have Philly, which is the biggest range of karak chai. It's like a big brand in Dubai and they have iced garak. If you're in Dubai and you haven't tried this, please do. It is so good. There's so much caffeine in it though, and I always make the mistake of drinking it at night and then I spend the whole night awake, but it is so good, definitely worth it. One of the biggest discoveries I've had in Dubai. <laughs> well, I feel like the common theme here is really diversity, <laughs> but the third thing is just the diversity of things you can do, right? There's it's incredible that in the same day, you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, and you can go to the desert. All in the same day, how incredible is this? And each of them are really high quality. It's not like the beach in the UK, it's not like Brighton, where you have pebbles instead of sand. You still have a wonderfully beautiful yellow sand beach. It's so nice, and the water is so clear. And then you can go to the desert, where it's you can only see desert for miles and miles and miles with the camels and everything. And then you can go to the mountains. They have mountain ranges here. People go cycling up the mountains. You can go hiking, obviously when it's not deathly heat outside. And it, it just blows my mind that you can do all of this in one day. Obviously I'm from Mauritius where we do have mountains and beaches, but we don't have desert. So here the fact that there's also deserts and there's the very, very modern middle Dubai where you have the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. And you have all of these wonderful skyscrapers that's just so modern, the Dubai Mall, which blows your mind. And it's incredible. It's like, you know, when you're going on holiday, sometimes you're like, shall I, do I want a beach holiday? Do I want a shopping holiday? Do I want like a city holiday? Do I want to get away in the nature? You can have it all here, which is great. So it gives you a variety of things to do. So every weekend is so different. Like one weekend you can go to the beach, one weekend you can go do like virtual reality thing, one weekend you can go to um, ride park, one, one weekend you can go to the desert, have a barbecue there because that's something you do. And you can go to a mountain one weekend. And for example, this weekend I'm going to go karting like i've never been karting and it's indoors very excited let's see how it is but there's just a wide variety of things that you can do and especially when people come to visit there's so much to pack it's really really hard to decide where to take them i have this problem every time when people come because they come for such short time so you need to really plan it out and think where do you want to go and there's also the Global Village, which has recently reopened, they closed for the summer, and is just like a massive fancy fair with different parts of the world in it. And you have their activities, you have shops, you can buy things from there, you can buy food from there. It's just 
like a massive party from around the world and it's great and at the moment there's the expo going on as well so you know just a variety of things to do you never run out of things to do and i guess while we're on the topic of activities that's also a wide range of things to do here and i know this is probably not specific to dubai but this has been my experience of dubai where um for example you can go skiing one day water skiing and you wake up at 5 a.m and go paddle boarding and one day you just go horse riding in the desert <laughs> and then one day you can just go i don't know what have i done as well you can have salsa classes you have zumba classes i've done a bollywood dance class um i've also gone swimming classes and oh i've i've tried paddle which i've never heard of before coming here but here everyone's obsessed with it it's like a mix between squash and um tennis very interesting um tried that outdoors it was a horrible experience because it was too hot but yeah so there's just so many different things you can do water-based sports you can do sand-based sport and you can do the normal sports but the good thing is here because most of the time it's really hot and people are trying to be active indoors they are very well equipped for it there are so many classes everywhere i've done pottery um I've, i'm also now <laughs> registering to do art classes because i've always thought that i was terrible at art but i think i'm okay now and um, i love cake decorating so i found this really cool place where they show you how to do different things with sugar so i'm going to try and do that as well just you know do sugar decoration there's just so many things to do the only problem is i don't have enough time but there's just such a variety of things to do and i love it and also that's where you meet people and a lot of people do this as well just to grow the network of friends um for example i went to karaoke with oxbridge people and i met a lot of people who were at oxford at the same time as me but we never bumped into each other but now we have doing karaoke in dubai this happens um, so it's crazy around here but yeah variety of activities and i guess the final thing i want to touch on to which i like is um this is gonna sound very very spoiled brat kind of thing but it's the convenience everything is so convenient here it's like it's designed to make you become lazy <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, hello. I'm rhyming. I should probably join poetry as well. Um, but <laughs> it's, it's just so crazy how um, everything is convenient. So there's a supermarket in the building downstairs where I live. Well, I can literally call them and ask them to bring everything upstairs. So I don't even need to go downstairs and everything. So you walk downstairs, you can just stop a taxi. You don't need to book a taxi. You get in the taxi in terms of payment everywhere has card payment. You don't need to carry cash ever. And in terms of orders, you can literally order anything. I can order a cup of tea and the deliver it. There's no extra fees because you're only ordering a cup of tea. Um, you can order one cupcake and they'll deliver it. <laughs> it's just too much convenience really and whatever you buy in bulk as well so for example if you do your grocery shopping online very convenient they come and deliver it you can there's an app where you can book cleaners and it's really cheap and they come and clean everything for you do your laundry do whatever you want them to do when it comes to maintenance as well you literally there's an app for anything you just get on it and then within 24 hours you'll have someone who'll come and fix things that you have a problem with and even with um, clothes delivery amazon everything is just so efficient and you you literally don't have to do anything they come pick up your laundry from home and do it they come deliver your groceries <laughs> they come to clean your house and water your plants there's an app where there are people to walk your dog <laughs> literally there's nothing that you need to leave the house for technically um so really designed to make you more lazy and even when you buy furniture here with ikea it's included that they will come and set it up for you and um, whatever you buy for example i bought a rug and they will come and set the rug for you they, they don't expect you to do anything every service is included in the package whenever you're buying something and i think that's it's just really good and there's an app where you can order for people to come at home to do your mani pedi to do a massage to do your facial to cut your hair at home even and even with pcr tests um i've used this many times i am ashamed to say but you literally book it on the app and the nurse comes into your home and does the swab for you you don't have to leave the house 
ever. And that's just really, really convenient and being very lazy. And more realistically, I don't have the time with work during the week. So it's really good to have the possibility to just outsource everything else. So the only thing I need to do is focus on work during the week and then the weekend I can have my fun and obviously sit down here and record videos for you. So it's just, it's just really, really good to be able to outsource all of the annoying tasks of life. So yeah, overall, I think my quality of life has improved because it's sunny, so my mood is always good. And then, of course, with all the facilities, everything being taken care of for me, all the wonderful people in my life, all the great activities I get to be involved in, and just being able to go to the beach, really, it just makes me feel at home. And for these reasons, I have really, really fallen for Dubai. And I see it now, when I, whenever I was talking to people who were in Dubai before moving, they were like, this will be the best decision you make. And at that time I was like, hmm, that doesn't sound that convincing. <laughs> and I thought, oh, they're just being nice, you know, telling me this so that it would make moving easier. But they meant it, <laughs> and it is true. If you are considering moving to Dubai, I will strongly recommend it. Um, if the only thing that's you know a concern is whether you will like Dubai or not, I think definitely give it a try. Um, it's probably not for everyone. Not everyone likes the same thing, which is normal. Um, but for me, it really is ticking all of the boxes. And I guess another thing that I didn't really include in the list was the fact that you know it's so well connected to the rest of the world, and a lot of people travel through Dubai and they stop here. So I've had what like at least five or six people who have come to visit already um, and so many more people coming to the end of the year it's just so easy to come here that you get a lot of people visiting there's always someone who is here and there's always a friend of a friend who's here and they ask you to like check up on them and it's just really really nice and yeah i like it i didn't think i would fall in love with it but i did and i'll keep you posted i don't know if this is going to be a lasting love or not we'll find out in the years to come but for now i'm very happy and i'm very grateful to be here and it's been such a big relief because obviously i took a big gamble by moving here and leaving everything behind in the uk um but it's been worth it so far. And that's such a big relief to know that it was a good decision and I am glad to be here. So very grateful. And yeah, um, I have a few videos planned for you talking about, you know, Expo Dubai. I will take you to Expo with me next time I go and um, doing a bit more about consulting application. And I also want to do this really cool video about my family and my ancestors in Mauritius, but that's going to be in a bit because I have a surprise for that video. So we'll wait for a bit for that. And if you're still here, thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.